All right, seven days away from the total solar eclipse. Uh, things are not looking good. Uh, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll try to do a little sun dance. I mean, and <laughs> right, I mean, at least cloudy. Storms we'll deal with in a couple of days, but cloudy, it's its looking pretty cloudy. Look, the, the computer models could look better uh, seven okay. days out, but the good news is it's still seven days out, so maybe things, things can improve a little bit, right? Uh, so we're counting down the days, Steve, seven days from now. Things would be getting darker outside for sure. So next Monday, we'll be watching that uh, closely. But just looking at the scale, I, I made the cloud cover meter for uh, next Monday. Right now, we're thinking mostly cloudy skies across North Texas. There could be some breaks. We'll see. Uh, there is still some time for this to maybe adjust more optimistically. But for right now, uh, definitely looking cloudier than not cloudy for sure next Monday. And here's an early eclipse forecast. Chance of some storms, we'll see, but otherwise mostly cloudy and warm with temperatures in the 70s. So we'll see what happens here as we get closer. But of more greater concern in the short term, today is going to be a stormy one towards the evening hours. There is a severe risk across North Texas this evening. Large hail would be the main threat with that. Now behind this system, we do turn nice heading into midweek and then heading into the weekend. Rain chances do return once again. Let's time everything out for you. You can see through this afternoon, high temperatures back to around 80 degrees. After 6 o'clock, that's when our storm chances ramp up here across DFW. And right now it's looking like that six to midnight window would be the greatest risk for storms here across North Texas. On top of that, it's going to be a windy day. Winds gusting as high as 30 miles per hour out the south, helping to pump in that Gulf moisture. So here's the latest from the Storm Prediction Center. They have upgraded our Red River counties into that moderate risk. Everybody else across North Texas in that level three, level two risk. Either way, let's simplify this. Whatever storms that do develop this evening will be capable of producing some large hail, some strong winds and lightning. Lower end tornado risk this evening will primarily be looking out for hail, but not everybody's going to see storms, right? Let me show you one future cast. This is for three o'clock. Nothing going on. There's going to be lots of clouds. There's a very stout cap right now across North Texas, but it does look to erode and eventually break down as we head towards this evening. And that's when we see those storms light up. Notice six o'clock. No surprises based on the Storm Prediction Center. Greatest risk for those storms early on will be up along the Red River. There may be some storms further south, but it'll be more scattered the further south you go this evening. Either way, once we get to midnight, it's basically a vent over for North Texas. So things do improve after midnight. Beyond that, quite nice. We'll be dry through Friday. I think most of Saturday stays dry as well, but it does look like Saturday night and into Sunday morning will be our next opportunity for some showers and storms. And then next Monday, I did throw in an isolated chance for some showers and thunderstorms as well, as the overall pattern does look unsettled early next week. We'll see what that means for the eclipse, but over the next seven days, it does look like we'll pick up an inch or two across North Texas. Here's that seven day forecast 82 today. Lots of clouds, severe risk heading into this evening and into tonight. Large hail would be the main threat with that. Dan and Allie will be here this evening to keep you updated with that. Otherwise, Tuesday through Friday looks great. Lots of sun, high temperatures trending from the 60s tomorrow to back to around 80 on Friday. So a nice stretch of weather ahead. But as we head into this weekend, clouds do increase and so do those rain chances.